In this video, I'm gonna to try to help you determine which one of these portable power stations would be best for your needs because not everybody needs a full home system. Not everybody wants a small portable system as well. It just doesn't fit the need for the consumer that's purchasing these portable power stations. And not everybody understands exactly what they uh, should be looking for when they start looking for a portable power station, especially if this is your first one. This is the Blue Eddy lineup of the Elite Series and the Apex 300. And we're gonna talk about everything that we have here on the table. And if you want a full review on any of these, I'll have links in the description below so you can go check out my reviews on each one of these products. I'm gonna start with the Elite 30 and I'm gonna work my way up to the Apex 300. This is the Elite 30, the Elite 100, the Elite 200, the Elite 400, and the Apex 300. So let's start with the Elite 30. This is a 600 watt, 288 watt hour capacity portable power station. This is gonna be perfect for powering up small devices like even computers or cell phones or small fans or something of that sort. You need something that's very portable that you could pack around that's very light. This is the portable power station that you should be looking for. If you need more capacity and you need more output, then we're gonna move into the Elite 100 series. So let's move this over here to talk more about the Elite 100. Although this is still very portable, it does have its limitations. This is an 1800 watt, 1024 watt hour capacity portable power station that would be excellent for taking on tailgates and just powering small devices because you're limited on the amount of capacity that you have with the Elite 100. So if you need more capacity than that, we're gonna step up to the Elite 200. And although this is still portable, it's starting to get some weight to it. So keep that in mind, when the more capacity that you have in these systems, the heavier that they get. But this is a little powerhouse, coming in at 2,600 watts of continuous output and 2,073.6 watt hours of battery capacity. This thing actually packs a serious punch and it's one of my favorite overall portable power stations until they released the new Elite 400. That's because this has the same output as the Elite 200 at 2,600 watts of continuous output, but it has the same capacity as the Apex 300 at 3,840 watt hours of capacity. However, this is not as portable as these systems down here, but if it's on the ground, it's very portable because it has a handle, it has nice smooth wheels that you can move it around on floors with, and you can set this down in a horizontal position or the vertical position. Now let's talk about what these three share in common that I didn't mention on each one of these because each one of them have these outlets on them. The Elite 400 shares the exact same ports as the Elite 200. This has two USB-C ports at 100 watts. It has the car socket at 12 volts, 10 amps, and it has 1000 watts of solar input. Exactly the same thing over here. Interesting enough though, on the Elite 100, we have 140 watt USB output and 100 watt output over here with two of those. And it still has 1000 watts of solar input. And of course it shares the same car socket over here. All of these systems, these three here, have four AC outputs. The smallest one, the Elite 3 or Elite 30, has two AC. It has a total of 200 watts of solar input, but it still has that 140 watt USB-C output, which is really nice to have. It has two USB-A, I don't really care for these on any system, not uh, just because Blue Eddy has it, it's every system that has these, I never use this anymore. And the USB-C at 100 watts is also nice to have, but 140 is much nicer. So it's interesting that those smaller units have that larger 140 output and these larger units do not. And speaking of larger units, the Apex 300 can be an absolute beast because this can be paired with three different inverters and multiple batteries to build out a full home backup system if you need that. If you want it like this, then this would be great for like RVs or something of that sort because you can plug in your RV directly to this. This has a 50 amp 
uh, 240 volt output. So if you're pairing multiples of these together, you can easily reach that. But if you're wanting to just hook this to a transfer switch and back up uh, central loads, you can do that with just one unit. You don't have to have multiple units to do that. And this is still portable. So this is basically the same weight as the Elite 400, but this gives you a lot more output. So this really depends on your overall goals. This is expandable with the B300K batteries as well. I should mention that because uh, none of those are expandable in capacity or with the inverter. This one is basically expandable from your solar input to pairing three inverters together to a ton of different batteries to just build out a massive system. So if you're looking for home backup and you need the portability and flexibility of a portable power station that say maybe you want to use it at your house and you want to use it in your RV and you want to use it at different places, this is my overall top pick for flexibility of any portable power station on the market currently. It probably won't be that in another year because Blue Eddy keeps putting out products constantly and I'm sure that they may upgrade that. Don't know, but right now the flexibility, this is powerhouse that it offers. This is definitely a good buy. So out of all of these, which one do you think is best for your needs? Leave a comment in the description below. Let me know because I like to get an idea of which one of these would be most popular for my audience. And if any of these tickle your fancy, I'll have links in the description below with a discount code so you can save a little bit. And if you purchase anything from those, it helps out the channel. It doesn't cost you anymore. It actually saves you money. But I wanted to provide you with an overview of what Blue Eddy has to offer in their lineup. If you found this helpful, smash the thumbs up button. It really does help me out a lot. I hope to catch you in my next one. And because you stuck around to the end, Blue Eddy has more products than I have sitting here on the table that I can slam into this video. They have an RV system that you can hook directly to your RV. I've done a full review on that if you want to check that out. Also, they have full home ESS systems for energy storage systems like the EP800, the EP900. They're coming out with a new one that's called the Energy Pro 6K, which is available on their website. So you can go check that out as well. But Blue Eddy has something for everybody. Thanks for sticking around, catching the bonus footage, and maybe catching something that you would have missed if you'd have clicked out of the video.